going on guys? This is Riggs and welcome back to their PUBG Mobile video. Guys, Arangle 3.0 is dropping with update 2.2. Hopefully that makes sense. We have a lot of changes guys, honestly. All jokes aside, a lot of changes coming to Arangle as well as coming to the game in general. Uh, different ways you can now interact with the map. There's also changes coming to solos. I know we got a lot of solo players that watch the channel. And this this is this is actually kind of the cliche or you know the the clickbait you know game changing because it definitely uh, definitely is. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you guys quickly some of the changes. Now understand, I've only I don't have any patch notes yet. Nothing has been officially released. Everything that we're gonna be talking about is subject to change, and this does not represent the final quality of the game. This is beta, uh, but. No patch notes. I've basically just been driving around the map, finding new locations, finding new things, new uh, building. It, it, it's insane. New, new new locations, new points of interest. Um, also, a couple things I have questions. I don't, anyway, we'll get to it. Let's go ahead and hit play. Let's start this off right. So as you guys can see, we're first starting off here in uh, military. Usually this is just a big, long beach right here. It's now a brand new location. Just kind of want to pull up on the map um, to show you guys exactly where it is. Uh, kind of looks like similar to like docks, right? You can see right there, south uh, south of military base. We're gonna go ahead and drive there in this buggy. Of course, if you guys enjoy this content, and you want to see more like it, make sure you guys drop a like on the video and we cannot hit 100,000 subs unless you subscribe. So if you enjoy this content and you want to see me show up in your feed, I highly suggest you hit the subscribe button. So here it is right here. This is the brand new uh, location or no, it's not, not, I wouldn't say it's not a point of interest, but we do have some new buildings. We have some, uh, um, basically it's kind of like a, reminds me half like, like a naval dock, right? Um, and then you also have the boats. You have the different crates, tons and tons of loot here, new places to fight. There's also a new underwater mechanic that we're going to go ahead and break down. This is similar to what you see over in a Georgia pole crates. Um, I didn't do it, uh, you know, in this recording, but you can climb up to the top and get on top of that crate right there. This is probably the coolest feature you're going to find in the entire game. The gas stations actually do something uh, than just provide you a place to camp and a place that doesn't have very good loot. You can actually fuel up at, and you can actually fuel up at the gas stations. This is insane. And this is the best part, if you haven't noticed. It says insufficient balance. So you want to talk about, you know, PUBG being like a lot of us start playing this game because of you know how realistic it is, right? Um, you know, the, not the cartoony, you know, nonsense you get from a lot of other games. You actually have to have, like, the UC you find on the ground, on the maps now. You actually have to have some of that cash in your pocket in order to fuel up at the gas station. If not, you're going to get an insufficient balance dunk message. So, I thought this was the funniest thing. So, I was like, holy crap, I want to get this, you know, recorded. You know, I want to, you know, I want to get this for the video. So I quickly loot, I check this little shack, and what what do we find on the ground? You know, too bad this is, that's the most unrealistic thing, you'll never actually find money on the ground, right? Um, so we find, we find two fake UC on the ground, we hop back into the ride, and now, as you can see, it says refueling. What's really cool, I actually tested this in a couple other matches, uh, what's really cool about this, even if Actually, I think the I think my face is blocking it. But even if you're all the way on E, or even if you've only used say a, you know a quarter tank of gas, it's going to fill it up to full. So this is actually I wouldn't say it's game changing. It's definitely a, a, a cool mechanic. I think all of us can get behind this one. You know, we're being more interactive with the map. But not only that, now we no longer have to carry gas cans, or at least not that often. Um, and so not only do we save. Uh, backpack inventory space. So, in the, the day, the fuel cans just wouldn't f fuel up all the way. It only give you, it only give you a little bit. Now you can gas up to full. Really, really cool mechanic. I'm really glad they added that in. So yeah, the gas stations actually will pump gas. 
Uh, All right, so the next uh, point of interest or kind of new location on the map is going to be just south of Pachinki. You guys might remember these, or I mean, obviously you should you should know this little location right here where you have kind of these fame. There's always, there's always seems to be fights here. There's always seems to be people camping here. We have these two warehouses. I don't know, it's what, four, 500 meters uh, south of Pachinki. But you'll notice this used to be just a big huge open field right here uh, that just led in uh, to like the river right but now we have this insane tower from hell the coolest part about this thing is you can actually climb all the way to the very top uh, this also features some new buildings as well so we have a couple new things, couple new planters. We have little, what do you sell, like popcorn out of these things or something? Uh, but yeah, this is a new building. You'll see this is also a new building. And then of course, oh, that one, oh, just missed it. Uh, just to my just to my left. And then um, the tower itself. When I first came in, I was like, no way in hell does this say under construction with the golden elevators. You have got to be kidding me. The good news is, you know, I didn't, I didn't give up. You know, ha hashtag never give up. We found this little hidden, look at this, right to our left, there's a little staircase that you can climb. There's about 10 of these inside in order to get up to the top. You just kind of keep making your way up. What's actually really cool is the loot is insane inside of this tower. Uh, just so you know, we also end up getting super lucky and you'll know why in a second. Look at this, we find an 8X. We found uh, the SKS, I believe we found while we were inside here as well. We find an 8X scope, but look at this look at this view this is this is crazy when you look at not only the render distance um but just the just the overall view kind of overlooking a wrangle here's a really nice view of these two worlds there's always seems to be really really good fights right here too um you can kind of see the mountain ranges here very very cool i'm also going to show you guys how the self-revive feature does not work when you are solo squad as we make our way through the plank and then i was like oh wait this isn't solos this is solo squad um but if we were in solos i believe the way the mechanic is going to work is say we hopped off that and we fell down and died in solos now you're going to get knocked so you're going to go ahead and get knocked and then there's going to be a self revive a revive mechanic available in the game i don't know if it's going to be something that you have to loot or if it just if you just get it so, I mean, in, in solos, obviously, if you get knocked in close quarter combat, um, the feature's obviously not going to work because they'll knock you and then just thirst you immediately. What'll be real nice, though, is in those long range fights, you know, say you're having like a sniper battle and say you, you know, take, take a headshot to the dome or you take a shot to the dome. Instead of you dying instantly from an arm or an AMR in solos, now you'll get knocked and then that'll give them time to push, but it'll give you time to revive, hopefully get a heal off. And it's really going to change solos. It's going to be insane, but more on that to come. Here's another brand new feature uh, or brand new location. And this is kind of in like the farm area. You'll see uh, it does look similar to what we have in Mill. It is different, but does look similar uh, to the one that we have on the beach uh, south of military. Uh, but now we have it over in farm um on this beach and not only that but if you if you look out into the water check this out there's a whole new structure like this lighthouse tower thing um and what's really cool is we actually got a boat which is pretty awesome we can go ahead and drive over there uh there's also a, a new underwater which i'm gonna show you guys in a second uh, a, a huge change to the animation of how you look swimming underwater, you know, kind of coming back to, I should have tested it in FPP, but of course it's just TPP. Um, the biggest bummer, I hope, I hope this is only because of beta. We've seen the under construction signs and things. I really hope there's going to be a way inside this structure right here. As of right now, they need to do something cool with this. I really hope this isn't just like a dead building that's just sealed because this will literally provide zero purpose if they don't allow us to access or go inside. They need to make this. I think it'd be cool if they made it to where there's like a crate inside, like we used to see like a crate, um, you know, uh, in the cave in the kindy. Hopefully they bring that back. Um, but just some special feature. They need to make... They need to make this a reason to come here other than just, you know, being a roundabout, you know, inside the river. 
I really hope they bring a door in here. They bring like crazy ass, like 3X loot. Put a crate in here, just something insane. I went all the way through it. I swam underwater, which is how I found out the new feature. Uh, hopefully I was trying to get like up inside, didn't work. But look at this animation. Look at the, uh, this is the coolest thing I've seen, honestly. Look at the underwater animation when you're swimming now. Um, it, it's just, it's the little things like that, which I think are really, really cool. You don't always have to go, you, you don't, they don't always have to go big like to wow us. A lot of us like the simplicity of the game. So little features like that, I can totally get behind the self-revive, uh, the gas station being able to refuel there, and the new points of interest. And I'm sure there's more, you guys. No patch notes, haven't watched any other videos. There was one other thing I wanted to show you, and I don't know what it is. If you made this far into the video, I really hope you can help me. I'd like to do a video on it. Over here in Stalber, You'll see there's three yellow lines right here. I don't know what the hell it is. I really don't. I I, I should have added it in the video, but I just, I didn't. But I went to all of them. I went to all three of these lines in a separate recording. And there's nothing. There's no, I was thinking, is it like a, 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 like a crazy zip line? Is it like a tunnel underground? Is it like a, a tram or like something, a sky tram? I don't know what it is. Um, may, again, if you could help me, maybe if you know, that'd be awesome. I'll pin your comment and I'll even, you know, do another video just on that, which would be cool. But I pretty much went through the whole map, you guys. I went through everything and I'm pretty sure I've, I've combed it through and through. Oh, uh, this is that little, that I was telling you like outside a farm right here. This is that new little, and this is where that little lighthouse thing is. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make, again, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Arango 3.0, we got some new features coming. There's also a new event coming to Arango. I'm going to cover that in another video as well as more Noosa content. Whew, we got it. It's, it's a busy week, fam. It's a busy week. Anyway, until the next one, this has been Riggs.